meeting of Ojai County Fiscal Court to order. Um, it is uh, February 22nd, 2022, a little after 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for all the things you do, whether we recognize them or not, and watch over our country as we're entering into very troubled times, and watch over our county. And we all want to be thankful for all the volunteers that are helping us during the tornado. And just watch over us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Amy. Gentlemen, you have the February the 8th uh, minutes. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion for Sam Small. Second. Second for Joe Barnes. Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, correction, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Uh, I would move, so move, uh, Judge, and uh, give me just a minute for the we could get a second. 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 And then, uh, Motion by Larry, and second by Jason. There is a light list on your desk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait till I look it over and start seeing discussion. Well, I'm ready for that. And did everybody contribute to the graduation? Uh-huh. I'm good, Jeff. I don't think anybody about Anybody else got any questions on the bills, claims, payments, transfers, or discussion, I should say it. Being none, <coughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign, the bills and claims are uh, passed. Uh, we have an amendment to the ankle monitor contract. Uh, Justin will tell us about that. Uh, that's just with, with uh, Jimmy and I, there was a, <clears throat> an ankle monitor that, that we have that, that uh, will tell us the location of defendants that are on release, pre-trial release. Uh, we also have an alcohol monitor, um, but there is a, another bracelet that would allow us to do the GPS and the alcohol. Um, Jimmy's recommending that uh, we go ahead and, and uh, amend the contract to include those type bracelets if needed. Similar to the other contracts, we are only billed when they're in use, um, and if the defendant's able to pay, then they pay. If not, and we have some situations where, the, where we've set aside some of the fund for the to pay some of the cost of the engine. That's a good question, Larry. Jimmy would have to tell us. I think they're a little bit more because it's a combination. They may be four to five dollars, uh, four dollars a day. I was just curious. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's have a motion to amend the contract as, so as, so, as, as recommended by second. Justin. Motion by Larry Morphew, second by Joe Barnes. When we originally talked about it, it was going to be about five dollars a day anyway, and it ended up being cheaper than we thought. That's correct. Yeah, because they said about two fifty a day or something. So we're back to where we originally thought we were going to be anyway. Yeah. They're better, aren't they? Yeah, those are a little bit better. Yeah. They'll pick up if you drink just mm -hmm. any type of alcohol. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, Miranda, you want to bring me the personnel things? Miranda, I didn't get to write down. Who was the second on the last one? Bars. <coughs> the other one is a status change, uh, uh, Larry. It's not the one hiring. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that van driver one? Oh, Mr. Which one? I don't have one. Did we, did we do it last meeting? We uh, did, but it was, no, it never went through. Are you talking about the one that's taking the Mennonite stuff? No. Oh. Okay. No, the van, the, the one that for Senior Center. That was the one I sent last court meeting, and you said you didn't want to push it through, but I was, I, didn't know I that. assumed that it was, yeah, I sent it back to you, did you know what you did? Yeah, I sent it back to you, and you sent it back to Kenny, and everybody said no. No, we, no we, it was ready to go. I have to get it done tonight. 
Well, can you put that? Let me go back. See if you find it. I'll, let's do the other two. Do you know who the name is, Lou? Corey Andrews, I believe. Who? Corey Andrews. Yeah, that's right. Corey Andrews. Lori with an L. Lori Andrews. If she don't find it, we'll make yeah. something up. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we're going, we've got two status changes. One is our custodian in this building and, and the courthouse, Hepsi Courthouse 2. Joshua Peach, he's full time. We want to move him from level one to level two. That's from 1148 to 1188. So, um, you need a motion for that? No, no need I need to. a roll call. She got to get back here and do it. Sam? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> oh, yeah. We want to let Julie do the roll call? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, uh, Sam? Yes. Jason? Yes. Joe? Yes. Larry? Yes. Larry? Yes. David? Yes. So that one's done. I'll sign in. And the other one is Judell Stone. I mentioned this before, but for some reason it did, we didn't get it done. I want to move her. She's been there a long time. And she's full time. She's clerk two, we'll make a clerk three from 1349 to 14 even. So, same. 13 what? 13. From 1349 to 14 even, in other words, 50 cent raise. Yes. Jason? Yes. Joe? Yes. Larry? Yes. Larry? Yes. Okay. Those are done, now we're waiting for them to bring it Everybody. up. Everybody. Here it comes. From the 18, correct? Yeah, these were roll called and they were 100% everybody could guess. All right, and Brenda is going to find this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the next one we have is uh, a uh, van driver for the senior center. That's the one that we budgeted from the ARPA funds. And Brenda has selected Lori Andrews uh, and uh, has a rate of pay of 10.33 an hour. May be adjusted if it doesn't fit the uh, wage. 10.20.30. Huh? That's 10.20.30. 10.20.30. Okay. 10.23. Okay. Roll call. All right. Johnston. Yes. Cowns. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. All right. Uh, while we're on the person now, just for discussion. I don't think we're, well, we may do something on it, but we're not going to hire anybody tonight. Uh, as you know, our uh, uh, reentry program is uh, uh, doing really well. And there's a lot of documentation to show <coughs> that he is saving us money. And uh, he wants a uh, administrative assistant. Uh, uh, we, we'd have to advertise and go through all the process, but I wanted to bring it up to you guys first. Uh, and you have the uh, work up on what the annual cost would be. Well, nobody's told me if it's going to be a clerk or an administrative assistant or full time or part time. Okay, or... who's this for the for the uh, yeah for uh, Jimmy Cantor. for Jimmy Cantrell arts program? Can it be paid out of art money? Yes. Uh, I don't think we're going to, all we would do is let y'all know about it, and make sure no one has any objections, and really go ahead and advertise and go through the process. They would still bring the name in here and the cost and everything before they could hire anybody. Because I want y'all to know that we were talking about that and it was on the table. Well, we need to know what we're going to as far as advertising. Are we going to do it part time? Uh, uh, actually, search? they want full time. One of the things is uh, he needs help with the. Uh, uh, ankle monitors is one thing, and to be in the office when he's in the court. So if he has people coming in to see him, he's up in the, up there in the courtroom, and uh, do you think, Judge, that it would, uh, that we, it would limit our people, or people fill out applications if it was just part-time, and if it worked out and seen that he needed more, then bring him up to full-time? I'm willing but to My try. question is, do you think it limit the amount of applicants that we have? It, it, we'd have to just see, it probably, Probably, but uh, we would probably limit the amount of applicants you have as far as quality applicants. 
Now, another thing we would need to do is it needs to be under those contracts to where he knows that it coming out of ARP money and it's a four-year four deal, and after four years, unless it's proven itself or whatever, then it would it would go away just like those other ones to sign contracts on. Right? I think he's doing a really good job. Oh, he's doing an awesome <laughs> I think he needs a little help. I do too. Yeah. He's, he's certainly right. dedicated. Yes, he is. And I think we could do it through our money, but I think in four years it's going to show that it, it was well worth that. So yeah. they will go ahead and uh, so do we'll, the process, but still have to come back to court for the harm. Yeah. yeah. How much, uh, okay. how much okay. difference is it between the... Uh, Part-time and administrative assistant. If you're looking at part-time on the high end of administrative assistance, you're looking at about sixty thousand a year. About four years is about two hundred forty thousand dollars. Part-time, you're looking at about twenty thousand, depending on what you pay per year. But that sixty that includes benefits. That's your benefits, benefits retirement yes. insurance. The insurance is a big chunk. Yeah. What would the difference be on a clerk? What's the difference on the A part-time clerk, well, a full-time clerk is 14. A part-time clerk is 11.33. And does that, will that need, her, or the job description need to go before the wage committee judge? To yes. See where it needs to be put? Yes. Okay. We'll get the job description done and try to get it to the, uh, to the, uh, Wage committee next meeting. So if y'all can plan on about 30 minutes before the meeting. 4.30? Yes, for the wage committee. Uh, next one we've talked about a little bit, but setting the salaries for elected officials, it's time to do so. And uh, uh, I don't think we're ready to do it tonight. Right, Larry? Are we ready? To or are we ready? Uh, no, no, we're going to have a We'll have a committee meeting, Jason and I, along with you, Ann, if you'll help us out on some uh, looking at other counties and things like that, to see what other counties pay that's comparable to our county, and uh, we'll have a committee meeting and then report to the court where you can move on then if you want to. Okay, that sounds great. The committee is uh, uh, Larry Cam, Jason Bullock, and Ann Mel. And when we act on this, it has to be acted on act before? Right away. Maybe. There's there's a deadline. It has to be. Are you for the primary election? Did May somebody? 20. The what? May first. It has to be done. It has to be done before May first. Okay. Yeah. Before the primary. Yeah. So we'll make get, we all have that meeting. Yeah. We'll okay. get that together and get it back to you. Okay. And there's an ordinance 2022-3, interlocal jail management agreement. We passed the first reading at the last meeting. We we have it up. We need a motion. Uh, to pass the second reading. I make a motion. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Cowell. <clears throat> Is there any discussion? Joe, Joe, you had mentioned last time, I think, uh, and I, I wanted to look at the ordinance again. I think you had mentioned last time something of the fact of are there any costs associated with it? There could be costs associated with this committee in which we would be responsible for 50 of that, 50 percent of that cost. Uh, and, um, you know, if they had to do uh, some type of uh, cost with regard to an architect, an initial study, or something of that nature, there could be some initial cost that, that does give this committee some power to be able to, to call on the court because you would be contracting with Butler and Edmonton. But it would be the initial cost to see kind of where we're at. Um, and, uh, well, what I was worried about is that are we going to be, is there going to be a committee out there? You know, running a cost without the court's approval, and how how much? Right. I think they I, act upon on their own. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anything in there that limits that cost, but I think that the cost uh, from what the state is going to want ahead of time should be architect cost, if there are any, if they decide to do that. But again, I think if you see uh, that the costs are uh, uh, not appropriate or something of that nature. I think all the counties seem to be on board about where they where the expectations are. What what the cost is, I'm not sure, but where okay. the expectations are. Now our feasibility study that we did and paid for, uh, well, all counties paid for it. Will that suffice as far as a feasibility study going to application to the state? I think the hope is. Yeah, I think the I hope, think hope so. so. The, the state, you know, before we can ever build a jail, the state has to approve 
uh, our, our plans as far as where it's going to be built, what the architecture design is, make sure it meets their qualifications. Um, and so all of that would have to be approved by the state. And, and so I'm talking with some of these companies, the, the state expects you to have all your ducks in a row when you make that application for approval, which means, uh, you know, there could be options to purchase on, on land. We wouldn't be buying it unless we knew that the state would approve the jail. There could be some of those things, some of those calls that could be out there. Okay. Uh, roll call. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. That's done. Uh, very briefly, uh, we have some folks who want to talk to us about taking some more truck bids. Nick uh, and Charlie. <laughs> it falls back to I think the forged little truck bid, that's that's a done issue. We found the truck. We got the two bids that Justin, we showed Justin the papers. There's a little discrepancy, but Larry Cowan's going to take it out. So that that's a done deal. Uh, if everybody approves, I guess, how that have works. We got, have we got the paperwork to prove that tonight? Yes. Miranda's got that one. Let's do that before we go okay. further. Then. But we don't get two trucks confused. Here's all three bids. Count bidding at the top. Sure. Okay. City of Forestville, which was here, and no bids came in. Therefore, they went out and shopped or got quotes. <laughs> And they have the truck that they want at Fordsville. It's forty nine nine ninety nine. So it's a uh, and it was uh, it also had eight thousand miles. On it. That is correct. Unfortunately, the vehicles have went up a lot. And uh, to stay within their realm of scope of the money involved, I had to contribute some out of discretionary to you know, make it possible. And it's a twenty nineteen Ram twenty five hundred, which is three quarter time. It's 8,288 miles, which is yeah. not any miles. Uh, and, and on that, just so we clear, because Jason was asking too, that now that's that money that was that, well, I believe it was the CARES Act? Yeah. Was that right? Yeah. That we, we, uh, did they gave it. to us the hold for them. Is that what it was? Well, no, we did the paperwork for them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was, you know, where uh -huh. some of the cities did their own. Yes. We did Ford oh, with Rockport and uh, McKinney. Okay, so uh, it's their money. Larry, yeah. I'm going to make that motion. Yeah, so moved to accept the, the bids of $49,999. Yes. Yeah. That's just shy of $50,000. Yeah. Authorized to write the check. Authorized treasure write the check. Yes. Second. Okay. Got a second. It's Larry and Larry on the motion. something in there to show. And uh, if there's any discussion, if there's not, um, if there's not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That truck is purchased. Now, continue. Uh, on the same boat, we bid out the road forming truck several, same time we did that, and we didn't get no bids on that. So we went out and shopped, and we found a truck suitable to his needs for the road department. And here is the, the price of that for a Ford F-250, three-quarter ton a diesel. Okay. I, did he use the F word in here? I did. <laughs> His, uh, so the, this one's going to be ordered, it says here. What's the status on the um, <coughs> board? Don Moore and them back down the deal. We we don't give the dollar. Okay. Yeah, but we're not going to make them honor it. They'd make us. How you feel about it, Joe? I don't really know. At one time we were supposed to be looking into it, but I never heard any more about it. Uh, when I called, and I, I called around, I called Champions and I called Polk. They just having other people, they just having to drop, because Chrysler and the other ones ain't honoring their bids. So other than that, it's a legal thing, way above my pay grade. It's my more bid. so that, uh, like in the Dodge Ram or whatever, it's more so the Dodge one didn't, it wasn't the dealership. It, it wasn't was the Dodge. dealership, it was Dodge. It was Dodge. <clears throat> and we bid, and I even asked them about a Dodge truck, <laughs> And Dodge truck was four thousand dollars higher than what that Ford truck was. It was fifty-eight thousand, where the Ford was fifty-four thousand. 
And that's ordered, you say? That we right have to order it. And it'd be six to eight months out. Oh, is that right? So it's an order 2022 F 250. And it's. We have it. It's been ordered. Yes. It's this year. Yeah, it's. Uh, trying to read through all this, but it's got all those specs. It's a V8 diesel, $54,924 and 84 cents. Which I guess is not yes. too bad since that one was 8,000 miles and 50,000. And, and once we do this, we walk, I'll go there tomorrow. No, it's already on the lot. Yeah, there's already a lot. We, we brought City of Portsville down the other day and had them look at it, test drive the whole nine yards. And I asked about the deal. If we do this, can they back out of it? And if y'all approve this tonight, I'll go down tomorrow. I'll get a copy of the minutes from Miranda. They'll sign and stamp. That that price is locked in because they'll be ordered through Ford at that point. It is what it is. I don't have any problem with it. One thing that Nick had mentioned uh, the warranty. What what did you tell? Me? I don't know if it's on here. It is not. It was on. Yeah, no, the, on the engine and uh, power truck. Yeah. With, if going with the diesel, you had a hundred thousand mile warranty. Yeah. Yeah. The one that we're talking about now. But now, the one that uh, Portugal got was forty nine nine nine, say fifty thousand dollars. <coughs> but yet, uh, the road department is getting a diesel, and which is usually about eight thousand dollars higher. So I don't right. know. Uh, and brand new. <laughs> how much warranty is left on the one? I be honest with you, I, I don't remember. Because Dennis Den, Denny took all that paperwork with him, so I don't remember what that was. Yeah. It was factory warranty on that. I don't remember. Yeah, that means I know what you're saying, Larry. Probably they factory's they'd like be better off to take this deal. Yeah. When they're spending that kind of money. Who's done that? It's just not sitting on the lot. That's what the price. You will make a motion on the that? Only, the only thing that, uh, and I've, got, I've had diesel and I've had gasoline, is the only difference is that if you're going to put it around town, you go to look at a water meter, read a meter, turn one off, whatever, it's just a short distance, you stop, you get out, and that's just not what a diesel's made for. Diesel's made for sitting out there long running or, or torque, or, you know, torque on the wheels or whatever. Heading so. down the wind road. Yeah. Um, I, I'm good with you know, 8,000 miles. That's not a lot of miles, but but it's a it's a 2019. It's going on three years old. I I brought Dennis Denny down the other day when I talked to you. He looked at it, said that's what he wanted, and for the price difference, because you still got to come up with like two thousand dollars at your discretionary. If we went that route, somebody would have to come up with some. Did about seven six thousand seven thousand dollars more. If it, if, it was, if it was me, I would. I would and but and six months out. I assume they've already looked at it and the availability. But that's yeah. that, how quick they need it. Six yeah, and out. that's what he said. He said he did truck now. <laughs> I mean, if you want to ask him, that's totally on y'all. Oh, we're going to do. My only problem is that it's three years old, and uh, I'm not a Dodge man. I don't see how how, how long the warranties is or anything right. like that. I think they've, they've all changed too since we yeah. first started buying. Chevrolet used to be. Larry, what you could do is you we could go ahead and accept it under their consideration if they want it. After you talk to them tomorrow. Now, there's two different things y'all got going here. We've already, I think, voted on that one. Though. We've already done the yeah. portable. Well, we should have brought this enough first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, look back. Yeah. Hindsight's 2020. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've actually already done it. We had done the. Uh, but it's whatever you want to do, Larry. Of course, I do know that 8,000 miles is not even miles on pickup. No, but, but the year things would be the, the bigger deal. Yeah. Now, the gasoline the warranty. diesel didn't. Doesn't matter much uh, to me one way or the other because there's a short stop and whatever, but none of the warranty does. So uh, you usually know. those cars have the same as the new, and I bought one yeah. that way. But see, two years ago when they got their car warranty, when I bought a new pickup in '15, it had five year warranty, and now I bought one in '21, and it had <coughs> three year warranty. Mm -hmm. And if it's three year warranty, it's a possibility that the warranty is running out of it, running out of it. Now. I ran the same thing when I bought my truck in 2014. 
warranty. Your, uh, the warranty was about to go out on the one that they had there used, and I paid six thousand dollars more and got a brand new. Your basic truck. warranty is three years, thirty-six thousand. It says it's going out a lot of The power train is one hundred thousand miles on it. So you, with your three years, you're basically almost out of your. Yeah. Um, your power train's at a hundred thousand. How can we do this, guys? Uh, I'd like to uh, re rescind the motion. Rescind that motion. I'll move to rescind and to start with. If I can get a second. I'll second. I'll second. And that's on the uh, Dodge pick for uh, for uh, Ford. For Ford. Okay. Okay. I'll say aye. Aye. Uh, and then I'd like to enter like a motion. Ford says if uh, first of all Ford goes good with it, it's good to go. I would like to, Charlie, if we could, <coughs> call the dealership we'll Ford out here and say no, we're gonna we're gonna either buy a new one or you're gonna have to give us a little extra warranty on it because I know it's just got eight thousand miles, but the warranty may be running out. Anytime soon. So. Okay. So I can go down tomorrow and find out. Do you want me to wait till I hear from you tomorrow to talk to the city no, no, of Portsville? No, if you want to, go ahead and go down there and see if they'll uh, give any more warranty. I'll talk to Denny, but if they'll uh, if they'll give us a couple more years warranty. And I know, and then again, I say, I know it's only got 8,000 miles, but right. still, anything can happen. I guess you need to find out how many, how many year warranty. Is left that's on that one yeah and it's probably not very much because most of them down to i don't know i say Denny took that but this course. diesel is it five year hundred thousand miles on fire on fire, fire well, see there that's there again just adds to it joe so right and uh, it's six to eight months out they'll tell you that up front on that okay. on that one joe's holding his hand that that would be the only other stipulation yeah okay okay, okay. Uh, can you prove it up to fifty four thousand per year yeah and let them choose which one now yeah. let me enter this motion that um, did we vote on the res to receive? We voted on the yes, okay. Okay. I, I want to make. I want to entertain a motion that says that uh, if Charlie does any good, you know, Fordville can agree to it. If they can come up with some kind of extra warranty on it or whatever, and if Fordville decides that's where you want to go, fine. If not, then uh, I'd like to have it to where we could order two of these. Up to fifty-four thousand. $924. Miranda, am I making very much sense over to you, Bill? You never make sense, Larry. But yes. Hey, Larry told me a while ago Ann's he had to get rid of one of these Larrys on the court. Larry, uh, Ann's got a question. <coughs> yes, ma'am. If they order the new one, who's going to pay for the extra? No. Okay. Okay, so what? total amount or individually coming in at what? We have a question. Uh, it, all, it all depends. Basis. If, so if Charlie talked to him to get so him the next warranty, I think Ford will be on board yes. to buy. You need to tell him that. And I will. I'll call him here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. call him here in a minute. Maybe let's While y'all doing that, I'll call him. And you want like two. Well, we want one for the. No. But if they don't take that, we're going to buy two of these. Yeah, we need, to, we need okay. to prove it up to the 54. And that see way y'all can make your decision. Okay. Yeah. That's so what I said. Prove the, it up to that amount. Yeah. Okay. And see what the difference between the diesel on the Ford. See what the difference the diesel and the gasoline in. Should be a couple thousand dollar difference there, at least. Well, that Ford is 54 on a Dodge diesel is 58. So there's some change. I think he's talking about Ford gas. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he's going to make the motion up to this amount to buy two of them. Okay. Yeah, but if if Charlie if Charlie do any right. wrong on the warranty end, yeah, but that's that'll take care of it because it's up to that. Okay. While y'all talking, I'll find out. Okay. <coughs> so you got the motion, Miranda. We'll go, go ahead, Justin. Well, I'm just going to say the motion is up to fifty-four, but who is fifty-four thousand nine hundred twenty-four dollars and eight dollars Okay. Who 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 had who's the discretion on the court? Uh, you're saying that there's some discretion as to no no <coughs> get the get the nineteen or the new one? No no. The discretion is that uh, the, it's going to cost fifty-five thousand dollars, and Larry's going to have to come up from his discretionary fund to pay the other five thousand. What, what, if uh, what if they want the 19th? What if they want the 19th? It's their call. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. The discretion up to the 54 would be something that Ford's would. Right. Yeah. You would, there would be something in the minutes to indicate uh, that either Ford's would accept the 19th or that yeah. it's something you're comfortable with. That's, that's, yeah. that's what I'm going to And, and well, how do we do that then? Say it loud enough. She and then yes on the road department, correct? Yeah, yes, on, well, the this, this, yes this, on the road department. Yes, on the road department. Yours is, is, well, is depending on warranty. I know. Yeah, we, Ford's bill and the road department. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't voted on the road department yet. Can, okay. we, can we make those two separate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're going to be yeah. two separate yeah. motions. We'll make yeah. a motion on the road department first. 
as, as the truck as presented. And then on the second one, it'll be up to that same amount with the discretion of the, the city of Fordsville uh, as to uh, whether they wish to do something of a similar nature as the other two. All right, right now I have a, a motion by Larry on the first one for the road department, and that's yeah. it. Okay, need a second on it? It's all set. Well, I'll, I'll make the motion on the road department. I'll, I'll just read on You want a second? Did we already do it? He made a motion, you want to make a second, and then... Just I got you. Got a motion and second. And this is for this is for the road department, the, the Ford Ford. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's it. Uh, any more discussion on that one? No. Okay. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Hey, Dan, we're up. Larry, uh, that Dodge out there has got five years, sixty thousand miles uh, warranty. That's all it's got on there. They can't give no more on that. Okay. How long? How much warranty is left on it? It's 2019, so you still got two years and... Well, it depends on when it's put into service. Would you find out for me, Charlie? Uh, yes, and I do know that. He just told me it's like December of 19. December of 19. So basically 20. It makes about three, a little over three years. Just Correct. Three years to two months. <coughs> Correct. And it's got 60,000 mile warranty. Left on it. 52,000 miles. Now, is that power train or is that just... That's bumper to bumper, he said. Okay, we're going to... First motion then is going to be on the road department, and we'll take that one. Well, we've already got it. We just need a vote on that. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I need a vote on that one, and then we can do the second one for city forces. Okay. Road department. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Motion to buy the 2019 Dodge Ram, more Ford, at a price of four thousand forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Need second. Okay. Okay. Got a second. You got the second, Miranda? Yes, Sam. So, okay. Just so gonna, say that one more time. We have a motion to make the. Buy the it's the same as the original. Yeah. Get yeah. yeah, back the same motion. Okay. So you're just gonna buy the dog. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. It'll work. We already have a motion. Second on that. Why? Get the motion second. Yeah. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Wow. Didn't we buy that one the first time and then rescind on it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just checking. Making sure we're. And, and I think we made the motion, yeah. voted on it, rescinded it. Now we're Plot again. Well, Larry, Larry likes options. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure I read that right. Then I think you said this within, within the motion, of one of them, but that's going to the, be given to the city of Portland. Yes. Okay. Minutes just for me to reflect. Okay. Next up is uh, Larry Morphy on a water line uh, request. We got a person that's wanting to build a house on Union Hill Road, and it's a possibility of three or four more going developing, and the cost is fifty-four thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars. And how long is that? It tells you how how Four thousand feet, yeah, nearly a mile. Yep. Does Union Hill not have a water line out? There? That's Just where it stops at, and this will hook on to it. Okay. You know, the easements? Yeah, yeah they've got the easements. And this place is rich for development, and it's got a lot going for it. So I don't I don't have a bit of problem with it whatsoever, but I've run into these situations before that people say they're going to build, and then they don't build. But I'd be much in favor with it, Larry, if the first house goes up and uh, it's going up in it. So is there a house on it? Is there a house out there at all right now? Not now, not for these buildings. They're going to hook on to the last house. Union Hill's a pretty long road, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hey, that what he said, Judge. Yeah, yeah, I, don't know we, we, I think what Larry's saying, Larry. I think, I think what he's saying is, make a motion to do it when that house is built, and then and they won't take them long run. How about when they start? It? That'd be fine. When they start, get the frame up, Larry. Okay. That's all I can do. Get the frames up. Okay. So we put this on the uh, list. Yeah. The motion by Larry Morphew, well, second by Larry King. Before we do this. <laughs> Right, is that in the minutes or is it the gentleman's agreement? No, it's in the minutes. They made both. Okay. We're going to vote on it. Just make sure. Can we get a current list of the water? We haven't had, we used to get a list of water line projects. Yeah, yeah a couple months ago, didn't we? Well, uh, we're, we're, also, where is that going on the water line list? Yeah. To go to the water 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 water. Water. <coughs> But that uh, <coughs> motion that, is to put it on the list, and then when he brings it back, that house starts. Okay. We will let's put it on the list, and then let's go ahead and vote. Let's put it on there. I want to make sure we all understand each other. So we're going to add it to the list. Yes. And then when they get the house framed, we're, we're going to put it on the list. Look at the list. Yeah, look at the list. Okay. okay. 
Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Andy, you the one that really keeps that list? Yes, sir. Okay, add her on there. I will. Thank you. You won't care if you send that out to the list. I will. I'll email it to you all. Uh, how much you. money is that? That is just about like an hour. I've got a water line I need for about $18,000. Uh, it'll be here by the time that house is built. Is that much left? Uh, I'll get you all a big list tomorrow with bank balance. Okay. Uh, let me. <coughs> I'm going to put one on the list too. But, uh, and it's a different water cut. Yeah, it's East Davis County. Which but, actually you get more money, but bang for your buck there. But it's 16, I want to make a motion to add it onto the list. It's 1,600 feet from the intersection of Highway 54, running in a northerly direction, out Friendship Road, and approximately 1,600 feet. Friendship Road. I'll save it. Second by Joe Barnes. How much you say it was there? Sixteen well, feet. Well, here's the deal, Sam. Uh, I had it quoted, <coughs> and it quoted was eighteen thousand some dollars. But I'm going to meet with East Davis County, and they're connecting a line, uh, which give them better flow or whatever. And I want to sit down with the board and see if I can't get some of that them to wait. Uh, hopefully, maybe four or five thousand dollars or something like that. It would just be a savings on our end of that much. And it's just a trip to East Davis County Water Bowl. Larry, do you have that on the paper? No. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, we have that motion and a second. You got Joe Barnes second? Yes. Okay. All in favor of that one say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. <coughs> that one's on there. <coughs> now let's go on to committee reports. And Joe, I would like you first to, on the wage committee, the situation we talked about today so people know what we've done and I think the motion would say we just corrected it and give back pay. Okay, so back in September we we made a motion and we accepted in a compensating wage scale that addressed several positions. Uh, not all the positions received their raise and they recently received it but that's when it, it was caught so we need to back up and look at all the names that was on that list when we submitted it to the court and we approved it. We, I made the motion, Larry Morphew seconded it, and all the ones that didn't get their raise when they're supposed to needs to be, it needs to be back paid. How many are we looking at? Just, right. I don't know, I, didn't, I didn't, hadn't seen the list. Between maybe seven? Seven people? No. Eight. Eight. We're looking back, going back, when was it back to September, September. the 14th? September. September. You want to make that motion in, Joe? I'll make a motion that we we address the list that was submitted to the court from the wage committee on September the 14th to to the people that got left off the list that we back pay them to that day. I'll second that. Motion by Joe Barnes, second by Larry Morphew. Any any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Close like sign. That motion carries. And you know, of course, we're sorry for that. That wasn't intended. And uh, sometimes when we're doing a lot of stuff, yeah. it's all on one motion. It can it can get missed. But uh, yeah. I'm glad we got a cod, and we need to make it right. Slip yeah. through the cracks, I think. Is yeah. The same. Yeah. We we'll take care of it, and it's just it, it's good. And I'm sure that now those folks will be glad that we didn't catch it in time. They'll be glad to get the back pay check. Um. So uh, any other committee reports? Uh, of course, Larry. Uh, we, we uh, did the second reading on the jail thing. It looks like the Butler County will pass search next week. And the next meeting will be appointing a board, which I hope to be would be tonight. But now it's going to be the next meeting will be appointing a board. Well, how can I have more bins from paying the 50? Here's where it's going to start out. Because we've got more people. It's going to start out that we're going to have three appointments and the other two counties will have two. Whichever county it ends up with, in, we'll end up having that extra bubble, whether it's Butler or O.I. County, with your county lands in. Wasn't that the way you understood it? It, it is, whichever. But we still have three. No, three, three. If, if it lands in Butler County, we'll have two. We'll three. have three to start with, but there'll be two if it ends in Butler. Yeah, right, right now we have three, yes. Even though we're paying 50%, the others are paying 25? Depends on what the, where the, where the royalty is. The, the agreement of distribution of payment of expenses is, is between the counties. Yeah. 
uh, that's going to, that's something that's, that we worked out ourselves. Yeah. And, and uh, that may be something we need to solidify. Uh, if it does go in Butler County, maybe something we need to solidify that we do get we by the population amount of uh, uh, people we have in jail or whatever that, that we get 50% of the road. Well, I think it's I think it's, I think it's by statute though. I think the statute sets out exactly. They would get three, we would get two, and yeah. And now he meant we for yeah. revenue beyond the uh, operating oh, okay. cost. Yeah, I got you. Oh, okay. Thank and, you. and I'm pretty sure that would be correct. Yeah. Uh, any other committee reports? There's no other committee reports. Let's go to magistrate's comments and questions. Oh, I had had a committee report though. I was oh, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, March first, Tuesday at 12 o'clock. We're going to resume our. Um, we are going to resume our mental health okay. suicide awareness committee meetings. Uh, we're looking at trying to do something in May because that's uh, mental health um, awareness month. So uh, one o'clock, or excuse me, March first at twelve o'clock in the old courtroom. Okay. Uh, and is there an ARPA committee scheduled, Ann? Uh, yes, I'm waiting <clears throat> to get a list on all the churches, um, then you're going to and do that's it. that would be our next step is to meet with all the churches. Right. Hey, I do have another question about committee. I guess so. This committee that about for the uh, setting of salaries for elected officials. That is, who is that? Larry, That's you, myself, Larry, and me. All three of us. Okay. Didn't know if there's anybody else. I just know. Jason, you can talk to me anytime, and I'll, we will meet with Ann and Ann. By right, sometime next week. Give me a give me about a day's okay. heads up on it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that one's done. Okay. Uh, so okay, back to uh, Sam. Back to Sam. I'm good. Jason. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Todd. Take care of me. No. I'm good. Thank. I would uh, like to bring up our people's road department. They have to buy special shoes, and they get an allowance. It's a hundred dollars and it just don't cover. Is there any way we could raise that sum? I don't know what policy is that in. Is it in our uh, that's just admin a, code? That was no, it was just set in the minutes years ago. I have a copy of it. So I just so. want to put it in the minutes. It's probably a KRS that they have to wear the steel tote. I mean, and if it's not, it should be. They say it is. Oh, that's OSHA. OSHA makes sure. Yeah. It's an OSHA rule, I'm almost positive. But they get them the same way we can raise it. Well, you talking about $25? You think you take what did, to get I mean, what are they having to put? What's it cost? They have to put a little money with it, but it was $150 about. to $170. So $200, let's raise across the board $200. You you're, you're not getting any, Charlie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nick gets everything. Yeah, Charlie, you can wear tennis shoes, what you do. But. So is this a $100 hour for one time, or how often do we? Once a year. Once a year. And we do have a couple of other departments that utilize that, but mainly it's the road department. Well, I would put it into motion that anybody that they had to make you wear them, that it would cover it. Yeah. If you make a motion, I'll say it. I'll make it. Yeah, what's, the, what's the amount? Like 100. So 200 up? 200. I thought it was 150. Yeah, 150, I'll be good. Yeah, I'll be good. Well, it's 200. He said it. Get them for 150 to be yeah. That was Charlie. He wants some. No, he said, he, he said five. Nick did. Yeah, I said 100. That range from 150 to 175. But if they want to upgrade him, man. Um, yeah. Now, it's, cur it's currently 100, isn't yes. it? Am I right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did you say 150, Larry? Yes. Motion? Second. You have that, Miranda? Yes. Larry and Larry? Yes. Any more discussion on it? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like Stein? Motion carried. Okay. Uh, Larry, you got anything in? That's it. Sorry. Is anybody in the, I think in the public got anything for the good body? Uh, Judge, I want to say one thing before Bo gets up here and we have a gone for a while. Whatever. <laughs> Is, uh, I was informed a while ago that uh, uh, Ohio County EMS got their stretcher today, <coughs> their new stretcher. Uh, still waiting on the monitors and the uh, Bent, but uh, they actually got their new stretcher in today, and uh, and it's nice. Yeah, uh, good. Helen told me about it. Said it's really nice. So. Yeah. When are you expecting to get the monitor? Uh, 
sometime between now and five years from now. They, yeah. no. they think sometime between now and May. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah, they're on back order like they're playing. Hey, Helen, yeah. if we have to call you to come back to Louisville to get one of us, bring that new strip. They do it. <laughs> Okay, Bob. Um, so, just to update on the greens mower that we went to purchase on the through the ARPA funds that y'all voted on already, it's going to be about two years out. So we're still looking for other dealers to kind of offset that, so we're not waiting so long. So that's one thing that we're looking at doing, and everything's still going pretty decent at the greens. What? Two years out. That's what they told me. So I'm looking for enough. We deal with Toro. And I'm going probably with John Deere or something else just to see what we can do. But it'll still have to go through the bids process again. So, But I want to bring you all up to date on that. Why I'm up here is because of our payroll budget. It's very low at the golf course. Uh, the reason being we had too much help, but that, that helped us out in the long run. Um, so we're just going to have to shorten the staff back up. We had a couple PRNs to help us out. And so in order for us to get by for the rest of this fiscal year, I would like to ask for $15,000 um, for my payroll budget. And we're going to have a set schedule, and then we won't have that much help this go around. And we're going to look for some more uh, program workers to help us out in the process of doing that. So, Where would we get that at? It would need to come from reserves. Is that something we could look at? I mean, look at the numbers and look at our next ARPA meeting too? We, I mean, is that? We can, but we, we're going to be on budget workshop here in just in a month or so. And the reason I want to try to get this ball rolling, because we're fixing to go into the season, that we're going to have to open back up. Um, we now, shut, is this every year? Or is this? Well, so basically what we've done this year, we've done something different. We, um, we shut it down November. I think it was November we shut the pro shop down. So it was just basically members coming out at that time. So probably around April, we're going to try to open the doors back up. Let me ask you this, Bo. <clears throat> you know, we set the budget here a year ago. Well, not a year ago, back in July or whatever. And we we, uh, we set aside so much money for the payroll. Now, if you can just explain to me what's happened now since, well, since we put together a budget, well, the payroll budget. Yeah, and I, can, I appreciate James asking that question. The fact of the matter is, is what we're paying, it's hard to find the help. And you got daytime, then you got your afternoons. A lot of the times that I deal with people, it's with high school, pe high school kids that can work afternoons, or I can find somebody that's retired, and those are hard to come find, too. So that's why I had, I think it was six on the, pretty sure it was six for the, uh, Pro shop, yeah. And so I want to get that back down to like four, maybe three at the most. Um, staffing is a hard thing right now. Nobody really wants to work. But, yeah. and so that's why I added two more. And the, another thing, we added another uh, seasonal guy for the maintenance. And that, that was a 40-hour week that we had him there too. So that was something different that we'd done. And that helped us out. Uh, the, the inmate... Utilizing the inmates, we'd be lost without them. I mean, that's that's a true statement. So that's a good thing that we have them. But if if they're gone, then where are we at then without if the employees? If we run the pro shop longer than what we anticipated from the budget? Uh, yeah. When you have the inmate, you have to have somebody supervise. Yes, and they got to be in supervision too. So did did that pay off to run the pro shop longer? Well, the past previous two years. Um, I think we had, two years ago, I think it was, we had a pretty good year. Uh, it bounced back and forth a little bit on revenue, but I think two years ago we maintained pretty well. Um, but it helps out to have somebody there in that pro shop. The last fiscal year we finished up in the black. Yeah. Well, that, <clears throat> pardon me. That was my next question. Are you self-sufficient? Yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty decent, season? yes. Okay. Since Maybe COVID hit. I mean, we've really done pretty well. People wanted to get out. So. Maybe we can get back to normal before long. Yep. Uh, I don't have any problem. <coughs> if somebody will make a motion. I would. Larry, Larry and Joe. 
Okay, I'll better okay. say that. Uh, Thank right. you, guys. Yeah, I was like going to the upcoming. Uh, yeah, meetings. I'll have to get with Ann and. Upcoming budget meetings. What are we looking at? The budget like we had last year. Uh, or you're so I don't think we're going to run into that again. We're just going to okay. have to lower the staff okay. down and not do that again. While we're while we're on the staff, you know, we had a guy retire in the road department, but I don't think we ever backfilled that position. Uh, he's going to be bringing up to the next meeting. Okay. Because you know we we've, we've actually had a real busy winter because of the storms and them cleaning up their own storm debris, which we actually generated a lot of FEMA money. Uh, that you know I don't know how that's going to Diddy out when he comes back into the court. He's uh, uh, how many you have now, uh, Nick, full time? Uh, I think in uh, 14. We have 12. We have 14 spots. Yeah, 12. Yeah, he's uh, got one. He's waiting to get his CDL license. He'll bring him. So we got two open positions name. right now to fill. Is that one of those positions, uh, uh, the one that retired last January? Yes. And one of the most recent. But he has one out there that's working seasonal now that's getting his CDL license. The minute he gets his CDL license, he'll bring him up and fill it. Then he's interviewing a guy that worked there a few years ago that's got all his license and everything that may want to come back. They worked there once before. The next going to interview him. I expect that the next court meeting will be at least hiring one. And then when the other one gets his CDL license, we'll be on Well, it's just like, uh, keep in mind this year, you know, what we're going to try to do is do more for our own people because we also, we've got that long reach now and everything. So even, if, you know, we won't be using as contractors as much, but at the same time, we're going to have to have our staff field back up because yeah. we're going to take tackle those projects in-house. Now, uh, I would like to see our part-times that have retired and wanting to come back, they want to come back full-time. I'd like to see them have top, top, day, top yeah. building. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. After they've worked up their time in, they have to wait so long. Yeah. 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 And we've had some good people that has retired. And so, but okay. that's all. But you'll have them to the next uh, meeting. <coughs> this one for the next meeting. Okay. And the other, uh, Drake, whenever he, Drake gets his CBL license. He's working there. It's, it's seasonal. <coughs> So whenever he gets well, I know the the general stuff that we normally do during the winter, the mow trim and everything. We've been we've been doing some, but I know some of that's had to get put on the back burner because of all the yeah. storm because of debris cleaning, right? right. That's Which right. is good. I mean, we was able to do it in house. The individual I was talking about was Dennis that's retired and come back and working part time. Right. He wants to come back full time. Actually, we was going to bring him up tonight. He said he do Okay. Because he's going to lose his state insurance. Oh, is that right? So he's going to stay part of that. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Nothing else for good this buddy. We're going to stay adjourned. See you off the next meeting. Yeah. Yeah.